feeling sick after playing VR. You're not alone. Up to 70% of users experience motion sickness after just 15 minutes of using VR. Wondering why? In this video, we'll explain why VR motion sickness happens and give you easy tips to make your virtual adventures more comfortable. What are the symptoms of VR motion sickness? You might experience symptoms such as nausea, dizziness, headaches, sweating, disorientation, excessive salivation, fatigue, an eye strain, or even all of these at once. Interestingly, the effects don't always appear right away. You may start to feel ill even several hours after leaving the virtual world. Why does motion sickness occur? There are several basic theories that explain this phenomenon. Sensory conflict theory states that motion sickness occurs because your eyes see movement in the VR world, but your body stays still, which confuses your brain and makes you feel nauseous. Eye movement theory suggests that motion sickness happens due to the unnatural eye movements required to stabilize the image on the retina. Evolutionary theory, or poison theory, suggests that motion sickness might be an evolutionary response to conflicting sensory signals. The brain interprets these signals as a potential indication of poisoning, triggering nausea, sweating, and vomiting as a protective mechanism to expel what it perceives as harmful. The postural instability theory states that losing postural control causes VR motion sickness. In VR, the visual and sensory inputs the brain receives can significantly differ from what it expects based on previous experiences in the real world. When the brain struggles to integrate these conflicting signals and maintain balance, it can result in symptoms of motion sickness. What triggers cause VR motion sickness? Several factors can cause VR motion sickness, including High latency between your movements and the VR response. Low refresh rate, causing visuals to appear choppy. Misalignment of the lenses with your eye distance. Slow or inaccurate tracking of hand movements. Low resolution. Are there people who are more likely to feel sick in VR? Yes. For instance, individuals with vestibular disorders may experience more VR sickness. Women might feel more nausea than men, possibly due to hormonal differences or variations in depth perception. Also, adults over 50 are generally more susceptible to VR sickness than younger people. How to stop VR motion sickness? Here are some steps you can take to minimize or prevent it. Begin with short VR sessions, around 15 minutes, and gradually increase the duration. Take regular breaks. Try playing games while sitting down to reduce the impact of movement. Make sure your VR headset fits comfortably and that the lenses are correctly adjusted for your eyes. Start with games that have slower movement or opt for games played in third-person view rather than first-person. Keep the room where you play cool. Stay hydrated and avoid heavy meals. Try to focus on a stationary object or the horizon. Use anti-nausea remedies if needed. While VR gaming offers an immersive experience, it's important to pay attention to how your body responds and take steps to reduce motion sickness. With patience and preparation, you'll be able to enjoy every moment in the virtual world. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will help you make the most of technology.